once I possess the kung fu of every master villain, no one will dare question my power. Not even the great dragon warrior. Why would you cameo so many old and iconic characters in your franchise, but not bring back their voice actors like... It feels so fake, like why are they there if they're not gonna say anything? Kung Fu Panda 4 is a good movie, but it's a disappointing Kung Fu Panda movie. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a structurally pretty good movie, it's just that like, it's disappointing in a lot of the aspects it fails to capture. I really gotta say, this movie doesn't really feel like a completed vision, and you can tell that because the Furious 5 they just aren't there and they're way more than just like some characters you can't really toss them out they're like intertwined with poe almost the dynamic between poe and this new character zen is not good i just don't see it this movie really feels like it's missing the tension the growth of poe as a character and just the emotional moments that like the furious five or just like poe in general gave to us. It's a story about becoming older, passing on a legacy and knowledge to the youth, and it just doesn't feel mature enough to do that, which is very interesting because the second movies and like the first movie in general were able to capture that so well, the silly side and also the very mature side. Here, it's, it's not happening. Even down to the animation, the animation is still as good as ever, but it feels the same. It just feels a little bit more polished. It doesn't really feel mature to say the least. There's still very good fight scenes in this movie, don't get me wrong. And there is some very good shots in this movie. Like the animation is definitely on par. It's just not feeling any different, any mature. And we've left this franchise for how many years now? You even get the same 2D cutaway that's basically a staple of the Kung Fu Panda movies at this point, but it just, it doesn't do anything different. Even the score, which is as good as ever, just doesn't feel like it's changed that much, which is very interesting because there's a very good section in I don't know if it's a chase scene, I can't remember where it is, but there's a section to where like, they use the motif or the melody of Crazy Train, and I got that immediately, it was so good, it was so, so good. Music is like my first love, and I've listened to a bunch of music, and I'm also in the music critique sphere, and I just, just hearing that melody, going off the rails on a crazy train, it, it was nice, it was nice. Now, giving a little bit more description to the whole movie, this movie is about Poe passing on his legacy of the Dragon Warrior to the youth, to someone new. There's a new threat of a chameleon, she's a shapeshifter who can shapeshift into anything she wants, but she doesn't really have the skills for that yet, and she wants to uh, get the Dragon Warrior staff or something like that in order to open up the spirit realm so that she can steal the powers of all these Kung Fu masters. And he, he also gets a supporting character because the Furious Five is gone because convenience, we'll just say. And his supporting character is Zen, which is a little gray fox, I believe. And she's not too interesting fox who was raised in the streets which is super funny to say considering the voice actor is aquafina and if you know anything about aquafina she ain't that girl <laughs> yeah the fox yeah the fox the fox named zen um grew up on the streets and is now just stealing and just trying to survive that way and there's a very obvious plot twist with zen and our antagonist which I don't have to explain, but it's pretty obvious once you watch the movie. Zen is tagging along with Poe because she knows where the chameleon is and Poe doesn't. And so they go along together and as they go through a lot of like journeys, a lot of fights and everything like that, Poe is teaching Zen how to be good and how to not steal. And it would be a lot more impactful if, I don't know, there was just a, dri a better driving force for Poe to improve. Yeah, Zen tags along with Poe because she knows where the chameleon is and Poe obviously doesn't. And so as they go through this journey in order to reach the chameleon, 
she ends up learning more about how to be good and how to not steal from Poe because Poe is like trying to become a master, like what Master Uwe was basically. And this actually feels like a correct step in order to take for a story. It's just Poe doesn't really feel matured at all. He kind of feels like what he was in the first or second movie except it's missing it's missing the emotional moments of those movies i really feel like it has to do with the pacing of this movie because this movie is extremely fast paced and there's no real breathing room like all the other movies like there's no section to really just soak in what happened and soak in why Poe is going through all of this. I do gotta say, the two gay dads are absolutely a treat, and I, I know they're not gay, but you know, I feel they're an absolute treat, but to be completely honest, I don't feel they do what they're meant to do, or at least that what they should have done with Poe in order to guide him, in order to like give him strength, in order to do the final battle. The Chameleon, our main antagonist, I gotta say she's absolutely amazing. I love her character through and through. It's just that like the main fight at the very end was kind of anticlimactic. It was actually very anticlimactic, like. Oh, holy lord. The ending of this movie is super anticlimactic and it just makes me know that they want to make another movie in order to fully flesh out this idea that they have with Poe becoming a master or becoming like an elder. With all this being said, I think I have to give the Kung Fu Panda 4 movie a 7. The Furious 5 not being here really does impact how Poe interacts with the world around him and just how he grows in general. It's it's not that fun. And also Zen is a character I feel like I should be rooting for, but the way she presents herself is just unlikable. And it's not like a quirky, like a sarcastic unlikable, it's, it's just an unlikable character. I am very justified in my score right here, but that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm 